Hello, hello everyone. Now I think I'm live. Sorry for the mistake. Let me know if you can hear me. Uh, let me know in the comments, please. If it is all right now, we're gonna start all over. Sorry for the, the technical issue right here with my computer, okay? Well, uh, let me know in the comments if you can see me, if you can hear me very well, and then we can continue going from here, okay? Well, good morning, as I was saying in the <laughs> previous video. Okay, Laura, thank you so much for letting me know. I tried to go live on my page so you guys could share if you want, but just didn't work well this morning. Sometimes technology, you know, just do some stuff against us, right? But okay, not a problem. We are here and the, pro the, the, the main goal for this morning is to have fun. I want to share with you lots of... Uh, different projects that I have here. I My goal is to inspire you to, you know, start gluing and making uh, boxes and other projects using fabric and paper and glue. Okay, thank you so much for everyone that is here. I see Laura, Pan, Claire, thank you. Everything is okay, very good. That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> okay, very good. So, well, let me uh, start uh, inviting you just in case if you didn't uh, register yet for the National Cartonage Day, we're going to have on September 18 a celebration of the National Cartonage Day. On that day, we're going to have lots of fun gluing fabric, okay? And uh, I created this day and this celebration for us to have fun at the same day gluing, okay? I really, I really believe that when we are doing our projects, we are uh, relaxing and having so much fun. And I love to know that so many of us are gluing at the same time. That makes me feel very happy. And I know not only me, but the intention is for you to know that we are all connected. And at that day, we, we all will be having fun, right? And I know Hi, Donna. Will this lesson be available later as I have to go to the doctor? Yes, Donna, it will be here. Yes. So um, what's happened with the cartonage day? It is a day to celebrate this technique that's called cartonage, right? And what is cartonage? Maybe you are new here and uh, don't know well what is what I'm talking about. So let's say about making boxes. Okay, let's say making boxes. This is the main the main, uh, the main thing, let's say, on cartonage, but you will see here today that I will show you so many different projects that are not boxes, but everything is made with fabric and we don't need sewing, okay? So it's our glue, lots of fun. And what, what I wanna uh, share with you is that whatever you are, like if you already know cartonage, if you are making projects with me, like for, a few years already and you are very confident we can go and make the projects that I designed for the day. But let's say we are just starting, you are just curious, what is this cartonage about? So how about you do a simple thing if you are don't if you don't feel uh, confident enough or you don't feel that you have time or that you want to jump and start making boxes right away? That's okay. So that's the li this live is exactly for this. I want to show you that you can do a simple bookmark or you can do the double organizer with handle and be very happy on that day gluing. And not only that day, right? I want to inspire you as well to continue gluing later and making more projects, you know? And I also know that there are some of you that are um, having fun with friends, inviting friends for, to your houses or coming to some place that you can have fun together. And that makes me even more happy because I really think that that, you know, when we will be gluing, we'll, you know, relax, have fun. And that's the way we can, you know, I don't know how, improve our lives and the lives of our family and the, our friends and, you know, be in a, in a journey of, of joy, okay? This is my main goal and my intention. Okay, so thank you so much for being here with me today. I see Sheila coming, Corina, Northwind 
Canada. I love all your projects. Thanks, Karina, for letting me know. I have done. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So nice. So nice to see you guys here. Thank you so much. Uh, right before I start, let me just see one thing. Um, let me see here. Okay, if I come here. Okay, very good. Nice. Okay, so let me start sharing with you first of all what are the projects that I designed specifically for specifically for that day. Okay, and before I go ahead, I I want to ask Kedi, that is my friend, Kedi, could you share the link for the registration for the National Card Day, National Cartonage Day, in the comments? So just in case if you didn't register yet, because this is a program that is. Uh, it is uh, free on that day. I have some tutorials available for you. And more of the tutorials, you can choose other things that I'm gonna share with you today. But if you register, you'll receive some extra information, you know, and you can know where I will be adding tutorials, okay? We will have a few live, we're gonna have a live video in the beginning of September 18 at 10 a.m. and another live video uh, at 4 p.m. to have the final. But other than that, during between 11.30 and 4 is the free time that you can choose whatever project you want to make, okay? So let me show you here. Uh, let me show you here the projects that are gonna be making. Uh, let me share my, change my screen here so we can see very well. Okay, so. Uh, as I said, we're going to have a live bit in the beginning of the morning, and this is also what I want to make uh, at that point with you, okay? So this is a small composition book cover. It is sturdy. It is so beautiful, so, so you know, good to have in your purse or wherever you want to make some notes. So this is one that we're gonna have, uh, I will make with you live on that day. But if you cannot be live, you if you register, you're gonna have the replays after as well. We can close with, this is leather, but we can close with elastic. I will give you lots of options on that day. And uh, let me see, I have a few others here. So for example, this one is another one that is just made in, uh, have elastic to close. Okay, so those are the ideas. And the great thing about this project that will be the beginning of our day on September 18, look what we're gonna be using to make that. We're gonna make cereal boxes. We need cereal boxes for them, okay? In the beginning of September 18, you need some cereal boxes in your favorite fabric, okay? And all the dimensions for that project, I will send you later so you can have those pieces already prepared, you know, for, for us to go ahead and actually make that. So we're gonna actually cut those pieces of cereal box prior to that day. Okay, but I will send by uh, email when you register, you're gonna receive the information when it's necessary. Okay. Okay, so now let's see here. Uh, just a minute. Just a minute. Okay. So prepare your cereal boxes for that, okay? It will be lots of fun. And now after I share here all the pieces that we're gonna be making, uh, that I, you know, I designed for that day. Uh, I will show lots of other things that you can do with cereal boxes, okay? And where you can find all the tutorials, everything, stay with me. Okay, after that, what we also have is the, um, we can also make a simple box. Let's say you are just beginner and you want just to make a simple box, just to understand the process, you know, and know how to do, then we'll have tutorials to make a simple box like this. This is great to put out of, you know, so many purpose, it's a pencil box. It can also be, you can turn into like a vase to put some flowers. You can make it into, I don't know, many other things to use this one, to put your hair stuff here. You know, it's so functional and easy to make, okay? 
other than this, the project that I designed specifically for the day is this one right here, that is the desktop organizer, okay? So this is a uh, kind of the project of the Cardinal's Day, okay? You we have so many divisions right here. This piece is really functional, really functional. And if you are a beginner, don't be scared. This is easy to make. And I will be, uh, you know, guiding you step by step we found my video tutorials, very good quality, okay? I don't do live videos like this, uh, tutorials live, because I prefer to make sure that everything is going to work <laughs> perfectly, very good quality. So for this project, we're going to have, for this project here, as I said in the beginning, we have a live video just for this small journal uh, cover. Then... I will send you the link and you go and watch the videos and you can make this project, okay? Well, so for this one, you can use, uh, you can start from the scratch. What I mean with this, we need, what are the materials, right? That we need for that. We need cardboard that is uh, a thick and sturdy one that is called chipboard, okay? So we have some choices for chipboard and, uh, let me show you right here. Let's see how the, the comments right here. I missed the prep for boxes after all this. Um, can you use magazine boards instead of cereal boxes for it? Uh, yes, you can, link magazine boards. Uh, yes, you can. Uh, cracker boxes. <laughs> you know, uh, at some point, I use even pizza boxes. Okay, so even though the, if you see there is that thickness kind of starting like, a, you know, the as the cereal box is not, it's a thin board, right? You can use that. Okay, very good. So let me share here a little bit of this. This is chipboard that I use, okay? This is the main project, the main uh, material for that. And uh, this is also another one, but this is kind of gray, another color. This one you can find at Hobby Lobby or um, hollanders.com. They also have this gray, it's easier to cut by hand. This is a little bit more thick, you can find at Amazon. For example, I do prefer, I use 100 points, but you're gonna receive, once you register, there's a video with lots of information, okay? I just wanna let you know that you can use that or you can start from a do-it-yourself kit. And the do-it-yourself kit, we have, the do-it-yourself kit, we have all the pieces that you want already cut in the sizes that we need, okay? And we also use poster board, okay? White poster board for that, okay? So the do-it-yourself kits are available in my shop, colorwayarts.com, okay? And uh, colorwayarts.com, oh, catch is here. Catch, please share the link for people to register for the national day if they want. Maybe they those that didn't register yet. So kits are available if you want. If you don't want, all the dimensions will be sent to you and you can start uh, cutting out the pieces and be ready on the September 18th, okay? Very good. So what else I want to share with you today? Oh, very important. I know you're going to receive the information, but this is the glue we're going to be using. Glue all from Elmer's, okay? In case you, you, are, you don't have yet, this is what you can start looking for around your house because glue all from Elmer's is what we use to make all those boxes. And uh, you're gonna need also some sort of uh, roller paint, paint brush to apply the glue, okay? And the other materials, and the other materials, as I said, I'm gonna be sending to you by uh, email the list, uh, everything you need, okay? Let me see here. Um, Louis asked, I have asked here three times, I'm on my iPad. What have you asked? Sorry, Louis. I, is this the Friday meeting? Louis, this is the, this is the live video I'm sharing, sharing projects for the, that people can choose to make in the National Cartonage Day. The meeting for the club was yesterday. Today is not this is only for the club. It's a different one today, okay? I'm just sharing different, different projects here. Stay here because you're gonna like it, I know, okay? 
do you have to member member of the club to buy the kits? Not Holly, no, not at all. You can go to the website, colorwayarts.com. Kits are available there, okay? And Nancy is from Ohio. Thanks, Nancy, for coming. Okay, very good. Well, now let me share you uh, uh, something else. Uh, during that day, every uh, this that I share with you, you're gonna have free access to those uh, instructions, okay, for two weeks. And also there's an extra project that can be made. That is this one here with handle. That is a double, double, double organizer, double organizer with handle, okay? This is for those of you that are really had ready for more and want to keep all the instructions for more. So this is part of the VIP access to the, uh, to the day, okay? It's already, it's also available in case you want to go ahead and have even more fun with that and help with a fundraiser because the VIP uh, for this event is a fundraiser for a school in Brazil that needs some help and I help we help through my cartonage club and I'm doing this VIP also because we can help them more. So in case you want to, uh, to be part of the VIP of this event, uh, you will be able to have the tutorials to make that double organizer with handle as well. Okay, all the information is in the link for registering that uh, was shared in the comments. So if you want, yes, you can do that. I think I'm in the right place. Yes, Louis, you are in the right place. Good morning from Massachusetts. Hi, Ruth. Hello from London. Oh, very good. Paul is from St. Louis. Thank you so much. Okay, so I want now to show, start sharing other projects, okay? Because in this other project that I'm sharing is not only for the National Cartonage Day. You can make them, you know, uh, like today, <laughs> for example, or any day you want. Sometimes you want just, you have a short, short time to do something. So I'm going to share some simple things that you can also do on that day in any day you want. Okay. I don't know if you are aware of this, but I have some free online classes that are always available. So when you go there, you register for this, those uh, free courses, you can have, you know, lifetime access to those. And I have specifically two uh, free online classes and I want to share some of the projects that you can learn in those classes and make on this day if you want, okay? Sometimes make some variation from there, okay? And so let me get started because as I said, uh, you can go and do the projects for the day that I designed it. You can also go to the website and find any do-it-yourself kit that you want and have fun gluing on that day. Or you can go to these free classes and use these projects to have fun, okay? So let me show you now some of them. Hi, Carol, good to see you here. Okay, so let me go now and share some. I'm gonna start very, very simple. As simple as cutting two pieces of a cereal box, for example, and making a Christmas ornament. Look at this. Very, very unique and simple to make. And this is also cartonage, okay? So remember in the beginning, I said that we would be making boxes. Cartonage is more like making boxes, but not only boxes. So this is super simple. I have videos, I have tutorials showing how to do bookmarks, okay? Uh, sorry, <laughs> ornaments, okay? Let's, let's go and see how the other things. So you can do, you don't, you can do like, square ones or you can do round ones as well. Look at this, okay? I know we are not in Christmas yet, but it's time for us. You, we can always start having fun with those, right? Now look at those. This here, I made, I have a, I think I made my first video back in 2015, showing how to do cards, fabric cards, okay? With no sewing, just gluing, look at this. I love making cards so much. So Debra, I love your hair. Good, thank you, Debra. Mary Kay from, from New Mexico, Debra from Texas. Oh, thank you guys. So take a look here. This is absolutely simple. This is cardstock, fabric, and glue, 
So if you have this at home, you can try and make it as well, okay? So the videos are inside the free online course. And this is the free online course, Joy of Cartonage. Kelly, could, could you please share the link for the Joy of Cartonage in the comments for me? Thank you. So that's like this one here I made for, you know, Happy Mother's Day. So it's something very simple for you to get started. And you can do this prior to the September 18th. So you can get, you know, practice before you start making your boxes. Another thing that I love it so love so much are magnets boards. Okay, so this is a magnet board you can put in your fridge, right? Or you can put something to hang and you can do bigger if you want. But this is also with uh, a post-it, right? So you can just put there and use in your fridge or whatever you want, okay? Very simple ideas, again, for you to get started, to get some practice. Okay, what else we have there? I'm talking about the joy of cartonage co course so far, okay, that we have the videos available. You will also, you will also have the videos showing how to do and the one ebook to show how to do that box that I show you that is a single box. But in this case, I put some decoration, take a look, right? So it's also something that you can uh, go ahead and see in videos right there in the instructions. And uh, a little bit more here, just a minute. Look at this one. Same box, single box, and I will give you the dimensions for this and everything before September 18. But if you want, right, like, like today, if you want to make this today, you can go to the Joy of Cartonage course and download the instructions, see the video, and start having fun. I don't like, here is important to say, here is important to say, lots of these projects that I will be showing here for the Joy of Cartonage course. I love, I make with cereal boxes and I recommend, but for boxes itself, I don't use cereal box. I think that when we are using to make boxes, I want them to be more sturdy. Okay. And then from there, I would prefer, you know, the chipboard, thick chipboard. You will be more happy with the result if you use chipboard than cereal boxes for those, for boxes. Okay. That's what my feeling is. Okay, let's see what else I have here. Oh, this is, I love this so much. Okay, but come back to my camera. Those are, <laughs> I just grabbed, I just grabbed the, the, the Christmas fabric. What is that? Oh, I have a different one here. Okay, this is Christmas fabric again, sorry, but these are really functional post-it covers as well. And I love seeing when, you know, lots of my students get, get together with friends and then make the post-it covers. It's really easy and fun to do. You can do, again, this also with cereal box, cardstock, post-it, and just a few scraps of fabric and elastic. If you want, there are several ways you can add elastic. So I'll, you have video there showing step-by-step. Step. So this is very a nice gift, you know, and a nice thing for you to have and to give for others. I really love the functionality of those post-it covers, okay? Deborah asks, can heavy cardboard packing boxes be used in place of chipboard? Um, I don't like Deborah because the, the car that cardboard is, is not sturdy as it is the chipboard, okay? You can try, sure, sure. You can try, you can make may, maybe, maybe you can make small projects just to see a cover and feel because I don't know what is the cardboard you have. There are so many different ones you are saying heavy. So maybe your heavy cardboard can be used to make something simple, but I would not use that to make boxes, for example. It's it, You're gonna have the same, the same work, this, you know, the same labor, the same work to make and at the end, the result will not be as beautiful as you want. I don't know if you, if I, if it is makes sense. Okay, okay. Let me know if not. Right. Okay. Oh, here's the one that is not. Oh no, but this is what I show already. Okay. So now, 
uh, there is one more that I love it so much. Sherry here. Here is for the same. Oh, they were saying that I'm, she made 15 of those for little Christmas gifts a couple of years ago. Yes, that's really, really good. Okay, so now let's see. Oh, I saw another qu question here. Important, I have had a challenge finding chipboard around me. Hobby Lobby doesn't call it chipboard. I stumble around the artwork canvas aisle. Uh, Paula, here in my, in the Hobby Lobby, I have close to me the chipboard that is the gray one that I'm showing to you. It's with the matte boards in the, exactly in the aisle for the, uh, for the mat, uh, for the frames, okay? So where Hobby Lobby has that frame section and low, usually is in the back of the store. On the side, they have a big shelf full of colored mat boards that are big sheets of mat board. On, right on the bottom, at least here in mine, you can see a gray one, color gray, and it's called chipboard. Okay, and you can ask them to help you to find something. Okay, and if you don't find the chipboard there, at least pick one of the mat boards that you see that is thicker, and that will work as well for you to start practicing and having fun making your boxes. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, now let me show you here one more, one more uh, project that I love in the joy of cartonage. This is a cover. And you can make, oh, I grabbed the wrong one. This one I will share with you, just a minute. <laughs> I didn't get this one. Oh, so sad, sorry. I, for, I don't have here now to share with you that specific one that I wanted, but actually it is, it is a cover, exactly as I, I opened here, but just for needle inside, okay? It is very nice and it is needle case. You're gonna find it there as well. Those are just, what I show you here are just some. There are much more projects there. There are, uh, holder for earbuds, there are holders for other, other things, there are Christmas decoration, uh, what else we have there? We have decoration for Christmas and for Easter for, well, <laughs> lots of fun. So you go there and watch, okay, see what we want. Let me see here the, the comments. Cecilia said she uses book board 2.5 millimeters, exactly, it's, it's the same as I use 2.5 millimeters. Um, there is another comment here. Let me see. Pat said, I have a lot of medium weight chipboard. I don't know the point number. Okay. Can I glue two pieces together to make it thicker? Yes, you can. Will the pieces, pieces still fit together properly if it's not exactly the same thickness as a hundred points? Pat, yeah, probably yes. Uh, uh, only if it is much thicker, like at the end, you will not, uh, you have something much thicker than 100 points, but probably will not. What you are saying here probably will be around 100. So uh, the dimension will work. Uh, but that is a video. I made a video about chipboard some time ago, and um, I, it will be, I will share the link before the September 18 as well. Or you may have seen that video where I compare chipboard with dimes. Okay, so you can have a, a like a, a, com a comparison the the one that I use with dimes and see if that's exactly what you want. Okay, the medium chipboard is a hundred point. Uh, and Janet, it's very it's very hard to say because. I saw so many, for example, if you go on Amazon, you say like medium or heavy and it is so thin. So this, every brand or every company uses a name and there is not exactly, it's not standard for all of them, right? So that's why I said, I like to use the, the terms points or millimeters. So I know exactly what we are talking about. It's different than just say medium or heavy. So we don't have exactly what is medium or heavy for that company. Maybe it's different from another one, right? So that's what I, I love to say. Uh, if you can 
use the 100 points and find 100 points, that's fine. Or 50 points and glue two together, that's fine as well. Or compare with dimes to see how thick your chipboard is compared to the dime. Love these tech boxes behind you, Paula. Yes, yeah, so, so lots of fun, right? Any different sizes. When you have the foam roller in stock again, oh, I have, I have. I, I after finish here, I put, I put there. I received it like two days, one day ago. I received my new order, so I can put again. Thank you for asking, Michelle. I put there in the shop after the live. <laughs> okay, so now let's talk about another free online class that I have that you can. I really invite you as well to go and check it out because those pieces are very functional, simple to make. In this second free online class, I made it to, um, just a minute, with the intention to share how to have good corners in our projects in different corners. So we're gonna, in this other uh, free online class that is called Have Fun Gluing Fabric. Kelly, you can share the link with, with them in the comments as well. So what's happened in that free online class, have fun gluing. It's not a lot of projects like in Joy of Cartonage, it's just three or four where we're gonna master square corners and round corners, okay? And we also have one different tray to share. So let me show you here what we will have to do. And if you just arrive here right now, I'm sharing some, we're gonna have a September 18 celebration of the National Cartonage Day. There are some projects that I designed specifically for that day, like it's a desktop organizer, but you, if you don't want, or if you want to get practice before that day, you can make lots of simple projects. Or in that day, if you don't feel like making boxes, if you prefer other stuff, you can do different ones. That's why I'm sharing some of the things that I have. So in this free online class that is um, having fun gluing fabric, we have three main project, projects there. The first one is one that I really love so much and it is a bookmark, okay? That we can also use cereal box to make, okay? And this is a, no, a bookmark that you can put, I don't know if this one will fit, probably not. Yeah, I have another one. So you can put like your pen. I love reading and I never had before making this, I never had a pen close to me or a pencil when I need to make some notes. So this is fantastic also because of that. So you put here in your book, you mark your page and you also have this opportunity to have this pen or you can use for your glasses if you want, <laughs> okay? So this is the functionality of this piece. It's very simple. And why are we doing this in this, in this course? We, in this project, we master square corners. So we're gonna see and learn how to have a good finishing when we have square corners. Then in the same course, we also have some, um, some thread holders. We also have the videos to make some thread holders like this right? And how to put buttons and everything. So they are also beautiful and functional. And in this project, more, you can do with cereal box as well. And more than having square corners, we also work with round edges, okay? Uh, round edges, round corners. So this is also in that course. So after we are done with this, the other opportunity is to make a scissor case and of course I didn't pick my small scissor to show to you, but well, you put a small scissor here or you can make it bigger to use for other things, but it is really beautiful, you know, way of having your embroidery scissors around and you can make it coordinating. Like for example, you can make the scissor case with the bookmark with the same fabric. And that is also so cute, so beautiful, lots of fun. And in this, um, in this project that is the, the scissor case, we also have round corners, okay? And we also have a pointy corner right here. So this is the intention of this co the, that course, as I said, learning different, different finishings for our projects, okay? Good. 
And uh, we have a bonus in that course that is to make a tray. Okay, this is a simple tray. I have some stuff right here. Let's see if I can remove. Okay, so it's one fabric on the outside, another fabric on the inside, and you can use for so many things. I, ha I have two or three then here with different things that I have one close to me, all made with cereal box as well. Okay, so this is another opportunity for having fun doing with simple materials, just in case, if you didn't know it. And I forgot to tell you about the joy of cartonage that I have now to share with you because maybe this is my favorite ever. <laughs> this is the calendar, okay? So here is it is it stands on your desk. You you can have the pages to print and have right here, okay? You can have your post-its and you can also have something to hold your pen or your pencil right here on the side. Okay, I love this calendar so much. And this, this calendar is also then in my free online class, um, Joy of Cartonage. And every year, like when we are about November, I'm gonna add the calendar sheets for the next year. So you can always go there and print it out and replace your, for your calendar. Or if you made as a gift for someone, you can give to them the, the new pages as well. Okay, I think this is really um, uh, a good project to make. I really love it making. Okay, well, any questions so far? Let me drink my water again. Any questions so far? Okay. Uh, and as I said, the desktop organizer that is the project of the day, we have do-it-yourself kits available. So you can start from the do-it-yourself kit. And if you are a very beginner and you want to make this, what I also recommend very much because it's a great project, I do recommend you to start with the do-it-yourself kit. Like it's less than $20 and it's gonna be like stress-free. So you don't need to cut chipboard. You can just, you know, everything will fit together very well. Okay, so uh, you can go to the website colorwayarts.com and see what we have for there. Uh, look at, I have another color right here I want to share with you. So this is in red. This is in red and this is in blue, but you can use different colors, different fabrics. The fabric is, the choice is up to you, okay? This is really important to say. My do-it-yourself kits does not come with fabric. The fabric is your choice. You're gonna use your favorite fabric. Go search in your uh, in your stash if you can find two coordinating fat quarters. That's why you need to make one box like this, okay? And for all these small things that I share here prior, scraps of fabric, fat quarters are fantastic. We can make so many different projects with fat quarters. And then some people also ask me, okay, and what else can I make, right? If I don't want that one, I have other projects to share with you now that are, I kind of would say simple projects with do-it-yourself kits, okay? Let's say you want um, a different piece. Let me see first here. Deborah asked, Claudia, is there a video that specially addresses getting smooth cardstock folding bending like in the post-it note covers? Deborah, yes, is in my this video is in my free online course, Joy of Cartonage, and you have the complete video showing how to do this post-it cover, okay, using that cardstock. So you can go there and see how I do it. Cecilia asking, will the VIP pack have dimensions for the whole box? Yes. In the VIP, you're gonna have your remains for all the, the projects of the do it the, the cartonage day, including this one with handle. Okay. If you are not in VIP, you're gonna receive these all the instructions, or you know, the in the dimensions to make this one, okay, and the small box and the journal cover, not the, the double one with handle. That one is only for the VIP. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, so now let me share some other do-it-yourself kits you may be interested in making at that day, okay? So let's see. 
this one is one, let's say a bestseller. <laughs> Can I say that? I think so. It's one of my bestsellers. It's not a box. It is a cover for a notepad cover. Okay, a notepad, right? A cover for a notepad cover is <laughs> not really right, but let's say. So you use the fabric you want, and then you make your cover and you have. The kit also comes with the, uh, with the notepad. And I show how to do this as well, like to use your fabric to coordinate and have this very good. And here a place to put a, uh, a pencil. So I had, last year we had a free workshop where we made this notepad cover, right? So now what I have available is the do-it-yourself kit that you can find in the shop and you can make following lots of color picture instructions and easy to make. It's a good idea, okay? This one as well is a do-it-yourself kit that I like a lot. And it is a photo or picture frame that you can use in this position, in the horizontal position or in vertical position, okay? It is, I love so much. Uh, and I think the picture frame is also a good idea if you want something small or simple, or just something to coordinate with your desktop organizer, right? Because you can make this one and you can make other projects coordinating with the same fabric. I really love when I, I do that. Another project that is really a good bestseller for our, on our projects is the note, uh, the journal cover but the big one, okay? So we're gonna be making, during the day, we're gonna be making this small one that is for the composition uh, composition book smaller, right? So we're gonna be making this with cereal box September 18. But if you want to make a bigger one, we have kits for the big journal cover. So the journals are can be also included and they are reusable. So once you finish your project, your journal, you can use again. And it is really sturdy, okay, beautiful and so, so, so uh, functional. Ceci said, oh, oh, Ceci, sorry you missed yesterday. Thanks for coming today. Very good. Deborah like the fabrics. Oh, so, and I love how fabrics are. The fabrics make the whole difference, right? When you start making the, the projects and we change the fabrics, the coordinating, my students always say, oh, here comes the hard part, decide which fabric to use in what part of the project, right? Okay. And then what I'm gonna have as well at that day, uh, the tutorials that I will be, you will be able to see, they will be very complete, very detailed. You can see here in our life that I have, I work with two cameras all the time. So you will see on the front and you see right here on my table. And it's as if you were like right next to me, okay? So it is very complete tutorials to make. And of course, you don't need to finish the project at that day, of course not, because at 4 p.m. at that day, September 18, we're gonna have the final live with prizes, with, questions, you know, to really wrap up and finish the day in a good vibe, okay? So you do all, all you can, you know, and that during this day, and then we're going to celebrate together at 4 p.m. Janelle asks, do you plan to get more of the spinning fabric boxes kits in stock? Uh, yes, I will have, let's say, probably about two weeks. Janelle, okay, I'm working to restock that kit soon. Okay, what else I want to share with you? Okay, all the projects that are also available, I couldn't find my sample, but I really like is also, it's not difficult to make and lots of fun. It is a fabric sewing kit. It's a foldable one. So you open like this and you can keep all your, some sewing stuff inside. It's a great gift as well. Okay. And uh, it's another idea for that day. So what I, what I will invite you to do is actually going to my website, colorwayarts.com and see go to do it yourself kits and see the variety of kits available and see what is in more uh, catch your attention, uh, you know, and you would like to make. Know that fabrics are not included. 
also I want you to know that instructions, some of them, the instructions are printed, uh, like you can download and print or look in your computer. Some of the instructions are videos, so read the description of the product. And um, what else I want you to know? I also invite you to be prepared for the cartonage day on September 18. If you want to cut the pieces by yourself and follow the desktop organizer, that is the project of the day, dimensions will be sent for those that are registered for that. Dimensions will be sent on September 10. So you're gonna have like a week to prepare all the pieces, to cut everything. So on September 18, you're gonna have all ready to go. Okay, just having fun gluing on that day. If you are planning to buy the do-it-yourself kit, I will encourage you to do it as soon as possible so you can receive and be sure you're gonna have everything you need. Uh, those that register for the day, you're gonna, you will also receive a video and, and supply list in a video showing the materials so you can actually see what you're gonna be needing, just simple materials. Thank you for the link for the tray template. It worked beautiful. Oh, that, uh, I'm so glad it worked out today. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you can contact me anytime, okay? No problem. Well, what else I have to tell you? Uh, oh, for those in the VIP, I forgot to tell you now, but the, in those in the VIP, this is the double desk organizer with handle, okay? So to make this proje project right here, you need two kits if it is using kit. You need two kits of the desktop and one kit of the handle that is sold separately, okay? All this information is in the website. And what else? Well, uh, here's the link in case anyone missed it, okay? The link for to register for the cartonage day is there. Can you just share with us? And um, also, another thing that I think is good for, for, uh, for you to be prepared for the cartonage day, check the blog posts I have in my website, colorwayarts.com blog, okay? There's like the tab, go there and check the blogs as well because I have many different things there. You may be inspired to paint your fabric or you may be inspired to make a simple box or to make a tray or to see what glue you can use or you may want to see how to print a picture and then put, you know, there are lots of different things in the blog that you can also go ahead and have fun and be prepared for that day, okay? Another thing that I want you to, uh, to, to ask you, if you have any friend that you want to invite for that day, for the cartonage day, feel free to do that. It will be lots of fun. You know, we're gonna have, in the beginning, we're gonna have fun going and making the, the journal cover, and then you go and do the project that you want, okay? It could be the desktop organizer or any other one. And then we come back at 4 p.m. for another live with prizes, with questions, okay? So uh, we can see, we can now get together and that they having so much fun doing. Let me see, I have a question here. Deborah asks, what is the link to purchase the do-it-yourself kit for cartonage day project? Kelly, could you please share that for Deborah? It is in my website, colorwayarts.com, shop, and then you have cartonage day supplies is one section of my shop. And you're gonna find there uh, the, the kits and the tools that I recommend that we will need to use. You may have them or if not, just for you to know, okay? Claudia's wonderful teacher, try it's very addicting <laughs> and easier than it, and it looks and so much fun. Thank you Debbie for saying that. Yeah, if you are new, right, you can start making very simple projects. But let me tell you, if you decide to jump in and make the box with us, you will love it and you'll be able to make it for sure, for sure. I never forget a day that in one of my first local classes, like five, six years ago, uh, one of the students came to the class and she brought a fabric to make. It was the journal cover. I remember that class. At the end of the class, she was so happy, so happy. Oh my gosh, I have so much fun and so much, so good to make this. And then she said, I just regret so much using this fabric, she said, because you know, when you go to make the first time and you, you just use something that you have because you know it's not be good. <laughs> 
But now look at this, it's so professional finishing and I use this fabric that I don't like it. <laughs> so let, let me tell you, you will have fun and it is easy and I will, you go step by step with you as if I'm holding your hand, okay? So choose your favorite fabric, choose your favorite fabric and we're gonna have a perfect, a wonderful project. Whatever is a box or a cover or you thing that you want to do, you're gonna love it. Yeah, can you just share the, the, the link? Thank you, Kaji. Yes, so nice. Okay, so uh, do you guys have any other questions? Because I think this is what I want to share. And just let me tell you, this is what I'm sharing here is just a small, small part of what I, we have available in the free classes in the do-it-yourself kits. There's much, much more. So take some time when you finish here, go check colorwayarts.com and see what you can find that is interesting for you. Okay, no more questions? Well, if no more questions, let me tell you that if you register for the, the already for the, if you register already for the Cardinals Day, you are all set, you will receive by email all the information that you need, the dimensions, the links to find the tutorials, everything. If you want to join us in the VIP and also make the double and also help with a fundraiser for the school in Brazil that needs our help. Thank you so much for doing that. You will have the complete course available for you for life, okay? You're gonna have all the tutorials for long time in a place in my online school with all very well organized, okay? And if you didn't register yet, please do it. Do it because I think we'll have so much fun and uh, I'm trying to think here some surprises for that day as well. If you bought the do-it-yourself kit, you probably received something yellow in your kit, you know, in your package. I hope so, but I will talk about this later. It's just something for us to have fun in the day. And, oh, let more questions. Let's see here. Your project will be better if you use good fabric. I agree, and I agree. In, when I started, I was using you know, those cheap, cheap fabric that is really, I don't know, three, five dollars a yard that is really not, you know, not very good quality. And I, I, I have to tell you, once I start using fabric that is a little better quality, I'm more happy with the, the finishing of the, you know, the boxes and the projects. Because if the fabric is too thin and like the, uh, the threads are kind of separate, maybe the glue can pass through and you're gonna have more trouble with that, right? So, but there are several several fabrics, good fabrics that you can find, lots of quilt shops available around or even join Hobby Lobby, you know, find whatever you feel comfortable and you like. And first thing, check your stash. I always say, because if you are a fabric lover, for probably you have lots of things that you can already use. If you are already registered, can you upgrade to VP later? Yes, Laura, you can. Anytime you can. Uh huh. Would you like me to share the free ebook? Yes, Kenny, you can share the free ebook as well. I forgot to tell about that. Here is the free ebook uh, that we have available in the website as well. So you download this to your computer if you don't have yet. It's showing how to do the simple box that I share here with you already. So this is small box here. And we also share how to make the, this mini sewing kit. Oh, I'm so glad you remember, Katie. I was forgetting. Here is the sewing kit. So this is this mini sewing kit. That is something that you can also use cereal box to make, okay? So here's a small scissor, okay? Lots of fun making. And we're gonna find everything in this ebook just in case you don't have yet. You can see here, my instructions are very clear. You know, lots of pictures step-by-step. Step. So you can look at this in your computer or you can, print it out like this, and then you can follow along and see and make it, okay? There are some tools that I didn't, I didn't tell you here about tools, but they are in the website. And if you register, you're gonna receive the supply list and you know, 
everything. So that's it. Dorit said, I got the time wrong. Me said, it's possible to give the dimensions for the project pieces. I can't buy the kits and would like to have the pieces cut out beforehand. Yes, Dorothy, uh, the dimensions will be sent for those that register uh, on September 10. Okay, so you can buy your pieces, your chipboard, your papers prior right now. Okay, and on September 10, we will receive the dimensions. So you have one week to cut and be all ready to follow me on September 18th, okay? Here's the book for the, this free ebook, okay, for the cartonage fund with fat quarters that Kelly just shared. And uh, okay, any other questions? If not, I want you, I want to thank you for being here with me today. And I'm so excited for this day. As I said, I'm planning some surprises. We're going to have some prizes on that day. Okay. So don't miss out. Okay. And between 1130 and four, the time that will be free to do whatever you want, following the tutorial that you want, uh, I will be available to answer questions. Okay. For me is a day that I will be online all day. So you can come here in, the, in this group, the Facebook group and ask me questions. You can send email. You can, you know, you can find me on YouTube if you want. Okay. Find, wherever you are learning and seeing the tutorial, you can ask a question and I will be answering to you during that day. Okay. So thank you so much for coming here with me today, for watching me. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your, um, you know, for your friendship. And I love being here with you. And let's get prepared for the cartonage day, okay? And if you are watching this later as a replay, also feel free to uh, ask in the comments and I will answer to you. And let me ask you a favor before you go home, before we leave here or after, let me know in the comments, is there any one of those, those simple projects that I show you here that you would like to make or one of those that is your favorite, let's say. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite or maybe let me know in the comments a simple project you would like to make because maybe I can be inspired, inspired to make another tutorial. Why not, right? <laughs> so yeah, you can take, you can put the comments and I would love to hear and to, to let you know. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Nice to say thank you. My tools arriving today. Great, Paula. Claudia, best hopes for your husband's recovery. Oh, he's doing much better. Thank you so much, Bunny. Book over, okay. Thank you, I'm looking forward. I'm going to make thread holders. Yes, Bunny, that's that's a good one. Okay, so I'm, I'm going ahead and finish this live, but you can continue comment, okay? And I will be here answering to you. Thank you, thank you so much. Bye-bye, I see you. No, there are so many comments. Let us keep here. I love to see all of them. Uh, large notebook cover, okay, thread holder. Thank you for today. Thank you. Got my VIP kit yesterday. Thank you, Diane. Being out today to find fabric. Yeah, have fun. I love shopping for fabric. I want to make them all back. Okay, yeah, we'll have time. I love them as small gifts for Christmas, as uh, some of you are saying here. So maybe for some co-worker or for a family or for Christmas stocking, right? They are small and we are. Another thing that is so exciting, you can invite your, if you have grandchildren, grandkids, you can invite them to have fun with you, with the cereal box. They will be so excited to make. You can make a bookmark for them, right? They can help gluing. Of course, do you don't give the rotary cutter for them, but they can help gluing. They will be so happy and it will be a happy time for you with your grandkids, right? Or your kids, I don't know. I'm inspired to try the calendar and lots of notepad covers and the big journal. Thank you so much, Deborah. Thank you for coming. Marie, thank you. I've made many notepad covers as gifts. Always well received. Yes, yes. And uh, another thing that is so nice when we are using fabric this way, uh, those projects are quick to make, easy to make, and you can kind of personalize, right? Because if you know that person likes, you know, I don't know, football, you can put a fabric for the football or that kid likes flowers, so you can, or princess, right? There are so many fabrics for that. And 
just that just make the whole difference and give like a special 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 touch right for that so nice Thank you, Claudia. Info is always so generous. See you on the 18. Yes, just now. Do we iron out the fabric? Not, no, at all, Mary. You see how many things I, I don't tell yet, but we're going to be talking all this in that day. No, Mary, you, we don't need to iron anything. Unless, unless, let me tell you, when I iron fabric, sometimes I pick some stash here. Those drawers I have here are full of fabric. Sometimes I pick one that is like five years sitting in that drawer and there is so, the rings are so, so bad. Then sometimes I iron, but not, not always, okay? Because you see in the process of gluing that when we spread, it's move with your hands on top of the, you know, when they are gluing, those wrinkles go away. So you don't need to bother Two things that I say that we don't need to bother in cartonage. One is iron fabric we don't need. Another thing is cutting fabric straight and neat and very, very precise. We don't need that, okay? This is different. If you are a quilter or if you are sewing, you know that you need precision on the fabric or your, your project will be so-so, right? That's my case. <laughs> I'm never very good on sewing, but I think my problem is most likely cutting and, you know, sewing together. Then on cartonage, we don't need that. The only precision actually we would need in cartonage is to cut the papers, like the cardstock, the, the poster board, the chipboard. Those need to be really straight and neat. Other than that, your box will be uh, not, you know, sitting on the table very well. But if you, for example, are using a do-it-yourself kit, all the pieces are straight and neat, you don't need to worry about that. It's just having fun gluing. And then you see in my tutorials that I never use a ruler or be very precise to cut fabric around because just between us, it's like a waste of time, okay? <laughs> and stress, I like to relax, have fun. And something is really important, I'm gonna tell you. You have to do that, pay attention here, okay? Then you're gonna have a good finishing. But like ironing fabric or cutting straight and neat fabric, measuring three quarters or one inch, not in cartonage, okay? You can free your mind and just have fun and relax. Let's see, I have taught the notebook over to my pathfinders and girl guides and they love it. Yeah, good idea, Corinda, very good. Thank you so much. Looking forward to making some of these projects. Yes, okay. Okay, so now, now I think I can finish. Thank you so much, everyone. Be inspired. Hope you can make one or two or many of these projects and keep sharing pictures here in the group. It will be great to see your pictures, ask questions. I'm always here to help you. Sometimes I'm not as frequent in the group, but I will try to be, I will be more here from now to the September 18th for sure, okay? Thank you so much. Much love for all of you. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.